and for Subak. And back again, I will uh, emphasize on what is the current current tourism practice that has been in Bali province. Okay, so the summary of this masterclass too is actually again trying to reflect what is the evolution of social ecological system as a synergistic harmonious and dynamic institution between the people and his environment by using pseudo system as a case study. And it's a, it is an example also on how its local knowledge been sustained, managed, and embedded in Bali's way of life which being recognized as a World Heritage Site status by UNESCO, and Prohoyan will explain more. And then in contrast, in contrast, uh, at the end of the presentation, I will present what is the impact on, from the massive tourism development in Bali on the negative effect of this. Uh, sorry about this. And again, by using the framework of sustainable design, just to refresh again, these are the components that I would like to address. The focus on the dynamic interaction between nature and society, transdisciplinary approach on how its local knowledge about itself being uh, transferred to this uh, community, and how is the formative function of the Chihitakarana has been built as the rural society of life. and. This is the four functioning of the ecosystem function and the SES component that needs to be addressed. Okay, next I would like to give. Um, Alexia, thank you very much that you have been inviting me here to explain, to share the Shiba system as a local knowledge in Bali. My name is Wayan Winia from Suba Research Center, Budayana University, Bali. We will explain about how managing Suba and how sustaining Suba in Bali, in order we still maintain and sustain Suba system in Bali as a work cultural heritage that has been recognized by UNESCO since 2012. What SUBA is? SUBA is uh, like Water User Association as usually, but the past of Suba, not just as a water user association, but also for ritual activities, spiritual activities in Suba system in Bali. Yes, first we know that Suba is a water user association at one site of rice field in Bali. And then every site of Suba, we have temple. And then every site of Suba area, we have salt of water and then also all suba in bali is autonomy suba not under village system not under the head of village in bali the head of suba not under the village system in bali so we have several components if we call suba system Farmer, of course, and then site of rice field, source of water, temple, and autonomy condition, externally and internally. Yes, this is uh, an example of one site in Bali. This is rice field. 
and then the one race of as well as natural uh, one race. We have, for example, here uh, forest, and then this is road, and the other one maybe uh, hill, something like that. Yes, at least the road race of Sabah is nat natural, not admin boundaries. So here is so many people, farmer here, operate to minute this site, site get from special uh, source of water, and then we have temple here, and then this site, this farmer, farmer they, to operate this site is uh, autonomy. This is a picture about what the water flow from the lakes until rice fields in the downstream. So in Bali, we have a hill, mountain, lake, and along the center of Bali Island from the west to east, we have a mountain, forest, hill, and then we have lakes, four lakes as a source of water for the all of Balinese people and also for the farmer in Bali. So we have four lakes like this God, a natural reservoir in the top of Bali. And then this water flow slowly to the river and then to be used by the farmer. That in Suba system and then always flow on the beach. That's why if you go to Bali, you will see, you will see the rice bed from the hill and the beach. So from the lakes, and then maybe there is a spring and from the spring to the river and then to be dam here and then flow to the primary canal and then divided here in secondary canal, and then to tertiary canal, and then from this canal, water will flow directly to the rice field, one side of Suba in Bali, and then to be here, after water to be used here, and water will out from the outlet, and then flow to the canal, and then the other suba in the downstream get water from canal, not directly from the rice field in the other suba area in the upstream, something like that. This is the picture of the suba in Bali. Hello, Indra. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, 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 Several suba get water from one source like this. So the several suba will organize themselves as a suba gede, we call it in Bali, or there is a coordination body for several suba that get water from one source. What for? To organize, to minute the water from the water division building as just as possible. One suba can borrow water from the other suba if needed. This is the evidence. Two suba here get water from one source of water from the water deficient building. And then in this area, after 
the rice field grow fuddy and then the eggs until 3 weeks or 4 weeks and then water will flow to the other suba here so rotation between suba is usual in bali is they get water from one source of water right this is the task of suba in bali how to minute water as justice as possible among the suba site if they get water from one source of water this the this is the explanation what is suba what is suba agung or suba fluorescence and like that and then now i am going to explain about the role or function of suba in bali number one is water distribution how to distribute the water as justice as possible in one suba and also between suba if they get water from one source by borrowing water by rotation something like that number two maintenance how to maintain canal temple in the suba site in order the water will flow running well number three mobilization of resources so the all farmer in one suba will pay the contribution to the suba and the number of contribution depend on the suba consensus so this is the lock system by bali because they must pay the contribution to air organization number four conflict solution this is conflict in the suba area the suba will uh, make a meeting and then how to solve the problem it depend on the suba status suba ferry system go to the police in order to solve the problem number five is important in bali is ritual activities so this is the specific task of suba in bali not just how to distribute the water but also how to offer offering at the suba temple and also in the suba site if we want to transfer the suba system in other countries this is the criteria one we must have the scoping topography or healing topography in the in the island because the flow of water must be from the top on, from the upstream and then flow to the middle and then to the downstream if we have the flat condition flat topography it's very difficult to organize the farmer in suba system because as we stop the water in canal water will flood to the other area in the side of the rice field and then in the suba area we must introduce we must implement we call one inlet and one outlet system every farmer must have one canal one inlet and then after they use the water in the rice field and that water will out from the outlet and then flow to the other canal and then flow to the other same and then to be used with 
they are the super in the downstream. Or they are the farmer in one suba area. At least every suba, every farmer in one suba must have one inlet for water capture and one outlet for water out or flow to the other canal. This is the benefit of the one inlet and one outlet system. The farmer can implement borrowing water in one side of sewer system because every member have one inlet and one outlet system. And then the farmer can implement the plant diversification, something like that. So in the field in Bali, we have two very important institutions. One, super system, and the other one, village system. The border of Suba is hydrological border, and the border of the village is administrative border. So sometimes there is overlapping area between or among Suba and Kid in Bali Island because the border is different. This is one picture of Suba system in Bali. This is the border. The valley is the border of the Suba in Bali area. So every Suba have a one source of water and then flow to the valley or canal and then the water from this canal will to be used by the other farmer in the downstream. Like this, you see, you see, the, the size of the spill is very tight, maybe not efficient, because very tight, very difficult to flood and to pull, but very effective to avoid conflict, because then because this system will avoid the erosion in the rice field and then also the farmer can organize the water just as possible through it through the canal to through the its canal this is the condition in the field, how the farmer implements inlet and outlet. You see in the field, the farmer must build special small canal to the downstream. They avoid to bridge the border of the rice field in order the water will flow to the downstream, but they need special inlet, special canal for the rice field in the downstream. This is the system of our farm in Bali, how to distribute the water by proportional system. So the white of the gate depend on the wide of the still will be irrigated. Like this, this is the picture how the Shiba member in Bali use the water and use inlet and outlet system in the field. So, you know farmer E, B and C, each farmer have fiscal inlet and special outlet. We cannot allow directly flow of water from one farmer to the other farmer. But also the benefit is the S farmer can borrow water from the other farmer through stock. 
the water from the inlet. So if we want to book the water, we can stop the water in yes and that water will flow for one farmer only in the downstream. This is the structure of Subak system in Bali. We have the head of Subak and we have head tray and we have press tray and head of head of sub Suba and then Suba members. So the head of Suba to be elected by the Suba member every five years. Yes, by consensus, actually by consensus, not footing. So the Suba will invite the all of Suba member in the Suba hall and then Alex, the head of Suba, usually by consensus. Because no salary, no honor for the head of Suba. That's why they use consensus to elect the head of Suba in Suba. And also the Suba member work together uh, in the canal in order the water flow is running well and they also uh, you know also implement the ceremony yes after work together in the canal this is the system of temple in Suba system. You see the the top of the picture is a lake at the top of Bali Island. We have four lakes and every lake we have temple. Don't forget temple in Bali. We have thousands of temples in Bali. And then every five years, the all Suba in Bali who get water from this uh, lakes will offer offering, big ceremony, cattle with carpal, something like that. Then the task is in order the all of harvesting in the Suba system is well. From the lakes, and then water will flow to the river, and then we have them. Not the dam, we have also temple. Don't forget temple, where the farmer offer offering in the temple. <coughs> and then from the temple, from the dam, <coughs> the water will flow to the Suba area. And the upstream of the area, we have also temple. We call Suba Temple. The place we all of the member of our offering. That is this is the system temple from the lake until the dam, till the Suba area, even until the rice field that owned by the farmer or by the Suba member. We have staggering like this. This is the list. This is the list of the ceremony usually implemented by farmers in the rice field, the Suba area. We have 15 ceremonies in one system in the Shuba area. Very hard for the farmer. But they implement happily because they believe that through the ceremony, the harvest will well something like that. The ceremony started at uh, we call picking, picking up ceremony 
water taking up ceremony where the all of the subak member go there in the upstream in the source of water offer offering and then the they also implement several ceremony until harvesting so we have fifth ceremony in the field yes not include ceremony in the temple and also ceremony in the lake temple this is the specific task of our suba in bali this is the wife of uh, wife of the farmer over offering before harvesting so from picking up water until harvesting we have fifth ceremony also if uh, there is a rat or pest attacking our planting our paddy rice in 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 the rice field the suba usually invite the priest invite the priest and then if still red in the rice field and that we can the farmer member to kill directly by at least we must offer offering first and then the other one is ceremony offering in the suba temple so so many ceremony in suba system the ceremony in suba temple in we can divide in three level in upper level in suba level and also in source of water temple lakes waves and that is we call tri hita karana system tri hita karana philosophy get directly implemented by suba in bali first we call harmony between farmer and god through so many ritual number two harmony between farmer and farmer through work together in ceremony in the temple and also at canal system something like that and also harmony between farmer and nature through the farmer not destroy the field in order to mix the rice field they shall intend they mix rice field along along the contour of the land not destroy the land that is we call three harmony three way to get happiness in bali through harmony with god harmony between farmer or people in harmony between people and nature so the suba directly implement this philosophy not in the sky but directly in the field implemented by the farmer in the field so this is three reason why unesco recognize suba as a world cultural heritage number one suba is a cultural tradition that make up the landscape of bali so because the suba is make condition of landscape few very good if we go to the field we see the rice field and we see the romantic roman rice field romantic view in the rice field. number two suba system is democratic and egalitarian system so 
very democratic. No casta in the Cuba system like in Bali. All of the members can to be elected as the chief of Cuba for Kasan people in Bali. So very democratic. And then they choose flex the head of Cuba every time by consensus. And number three, the temple is a unique institution. So we have temple integrated from the lake M Suba and Karma. This is the system of the Suba temple in Bali. What the problem of Suba in Bali now? So Suba is very good institution. In order to maintain the few, our culture, something like that. And, and this is the problem. Number one is land tax system. The tax of the land in Bali is based on the location of the rice field, not based on the production. So if we have rice field in the, in the city, and then the price of the rice field is very high, and the tech also is very high, very difficult, very hard for the farmer to pay land tax at the city area. So they must sell, they must sell the rice field because it's very hard to pay the tax. And then land conversion. So in Bali now, more than maybe 1,000 hectares per year decrease the rice field because the land there it storage activity something like that and then water competition between tourism sector drinking company water company and so many activities in Bali and then the water to the to the far one it's really limited if any water, usually very polluted, plastic waste, something like that. And also climate change, like you know that if the dry season, and then also sometimes the rain, and then very dangerous for the farmer if they grow secondary crop. And low agricultural income, of course, and then limited land holding, probably less than one hectare, and then almost no interest of young generation who interest work in the rest space because the income is very limited. And my students said that the income of the public in Bali, if they grow rice, one hectare, the income is less than the beggar, very limited. The beggar can get 4 million rupees per, per but the farmer is less than 4 million. And then, and then also no management board of world created site until now. We have uh, you know, a proposal to the UNESCO that we have we must, we must construct the uh, board of what they decide, but till now no institution yet will the government and others. Thank you. That is our explanation uh, about the Suba system, the resort. I hope you can understood what I mean. At least Suba is a water user as efficient as usual plus mutual activities. <laughs> Dr. Irina will in Bali and the impact uh, 
regarding tourism activities in Bali. Please, Dr. Irin. Yes, thank you very much, Prof. Ayan. Uh, the uh, resourceful uh, information, which in terms of the details for the civil system, and consensus democratization of uh, water sharing system at the local level. Uh, uh, again, we must uh, face the reality that uh, be a farmer is not easy in this current development. And at the same time, the tourism industry after a limelight and of easy cash money and farmers. So next, I will show you first what the cultural uh, landscape uh, uh, of Bali from the World Heritage perspective. To recap again, there's a uh, uh, rich uh, spiritual cultural value that has been embedded in the World Heritage site of the of Bali province. And of course, the, the management plan of this uh, heritage site has been documented very well by Minister of Education and Heritage and Culture in, in, in the Republic of Indonesia. It has been uh, uh, stated the life of protection and enhancement, the conservation was negative, has been uh, included. Because of the material culture, upgrade on cultural tourism and education, and infrastructure and activity development. So I will highlight uh, in simple slides for this. Yeah, and these are just to recap, uh, give you a short uh, understanding that for the tourism side, and the system itself, it may take minimum two days. This is uh, for the tourist visits for this whole package of the tourism stuff and riser and the temple water temple network. And uh, Kakashi itself, as I mentioned from the uh, profiles, he's already has uh, been acknowledged as one of the forum in uh, as part of the organization of the Open Heritage Site for Bali and has been the coordination among the government agency has been uh, in place, even though we are not sure about the implementation, but there is uh, effort to do that. And this process on how is the uh, recognition of the World Heritage Site that they they are really work closely with the practice of So we have already the the, the comprehensive and the solid uh, of the, from the CASI itself. And then they are also creating Subak Forum by laws, the local uh, laws, Awik Awik, and Awik Awik. So the head of Subak of Okasi has been also training for participation in mapping to get to know the area of the World Heritage Site and actively involved in this, in this uh, forum. So it seems like we have uh, uh, some adjustment from the Okasi. Uh, probation at the uh, water. Now they are also being facilitator to help uh, Minister of Education in uh, in recognition and sharing the possibility for the World Heritage Site. And of course, we also know that from Provayan, there are uh, Subak is not uh, hampered from other uh, uh, factors that threatening the existence of the Subak. From the large possibility and the ecology is another environmental pressure. Low income of the rice farming, of course, reduction of the forest cover, it happens, and spring flow, natural disaster preparedness also, it happens. So, the commercial development in land conversion, of course, is very much challenging that we will address in this session for our masterclass. So, these are to show the record of tourism development and also. What well, a story that even the cafe built in the Jatinu Rice is also uh, create uh, uh, an issue yeah, across the local stakeholders. So they know that this area supposed to be not been built for any kind of activity, but inside the rice terrace itself, they already built the nice cafe actually, but it's already another issue that we should address from uh, what had decided. Description. 
And for the, the facilitated tourism in the area, I also acknowledge that of information and site information. So if we can be put this uh, uh, more information tourists, so it can be more uh, interesting as a community-based tourism practice in the future. And at the same time, um, of course, the holy temple in Tapakiring yeah, is also facing a challenge due to the, the tourists who would like to pass or would like to feel how is the holy spring water in the Tapakiring. Yeah? So many of the tourists uh, have experienced this uh, in, the, in a water temple network, actually part of the water temple network. Yeah? Um, while at the same time, in contrary, despite this kind of the holy places, so they have also to share and this this place with uh, another uh, demanding uh, industry that well is to give a fruitful um, cash money for the local people. Yeah. So this is the challenge in developing sustainable tourism cultural landscape in Bali. Yeah. So they are actually another uh, governance uh, issue that, because it belongs to the five regencies. Yeah. So it's not an easy task to 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 uh, get a consensus, and also some agency has more um, uh, income from the tourists than the other agencies, yeah? and then each agency also has their own policy for managing culture and tourism. So there is another create another uh, jealousy across the uh, regencies here. Yeah? So. The Chatu Angga Batu Karu is located in two regencies, Tabanan and Buleleng. And then within this area, like the nature preserve of Batu Karu, uh, as we can say that this is a core uh, zone of the purpose, if you want to propose the biosphere, this is, can be a, a, a future for uh, nature preserve of Batu Karu. And ecotourism park of Lake Tamlingan and Buyan is another uh, area under the Ministry of Environment and Varsity, and is can be another consideration under this uh, zonation of biosphere. So no single decision managed to integrate the story of the cultural landscape quality province. So that is the challenge. And of course, uh, UNESCO work closely with the Ministry of Education and uh, uh, Heritage. They have produced the sustainable tourism strategy for Bali in 2015. So hopefully uh, the implementation, of course, it needs uh, some a consensus and co well coordination across the government agencies, multi level, not only at national, sub national, province, and also the agency itself. So it's really uh, complex uh, multi level governance in this uh, in this case study. So these are the how is the strategic objective being developed by developing the sustainable tourism strategy, and they are also. For acknowledging that it also knows that the Sugak needs to be embedded in the curriculum for students, especially for elementary high school. So I can see this is our ex Prof. Keller and Dr. Uturi, Utari that will be together with us in a um, master class session three to show us on how it's Sugak can be a living lab actually for uh, promoting local knowledge here. Yeah? And these are how. Uh, they are trying to instilling the spiritual or uh, attract to attract the young generation. Yeah, so that is that we need to preserve and conserve the uh, uh, traditional water irrigation system. Next, so for the government perspective, how they do they, what they do. So they need to monitor and you know what is the cultural landscape actually. So they already have the indicators that again accommodate the social ecological indicators in their um, management plan and indicators and in, in monitoring and evaluation. So they have five strategies in management plan, protection and in of the people livelihood. So it's not only the monument, the people, but they also acknowledge people livelihood. The second one is about the conservation of the promotion ecosystem service itself needs to be conserved in order to get balance. Conservation of natural culture is so included, development, cultural, and educational tourism. 
and development of infrastructure and facility. So these are the details have been documented in this book. And these are just to show you briefly how is the detail of the monitoring and evaluation of World Heritage Site in Bali province has been uh, conducted yeah, from every two years, three years, two years ago. Yeah. So these are the detail on the, on the, yeah. I think that's all for the perspective of World Heritage Site. Now we bring back the, uh, ecological system into this current uh, development where the tourism demand in Bali and its impact to the environment has been <coughs> shown in several um, indicators and the first nation 40% of the erosion even the forest cover is 20% of class to 50% standards by uh, environment development agency of uh, Indonesia. They uh, are yeah. not only the just fluid and affect major uh, tourism in this uh, sector. So, super popular tourism destination in Bali is covered in the beach, the Sadua, Sanur, and Ubud. So, these are the some of you have been here, maybe shipping. Uh, tourism, beach, sunrise, uh, sunset, the uh, village, and the coastal ecosystem is very attractive, and as well as the involvement of tourists in the several cultural activities. And the uh, demand of the tourists has been recorded, and you can see the number of the forest, uh, foreign tourism has been increasing up to 500,000 only for 2006 16. And also, in terms of the domestic length of stay and expenditure in Bali, it has been also uh, increasing you know, in terms of uh, expenses. So I use this uh, uh, slide. It's also actually uh, contributed by Dr. Uh, Agum Suryawan from the Center of uh, Tourism in the University of Udayana. So from the homestay kind of style, Traditional style, it tends to be the resort uh, to cater the, the number of tourists and the expenditure also. Uh, accommodation is uh, dominating the 36% of the tourist expenditure, followed by the uh, 70%, and shopping 60%, and local transport. So, economic value definitely is contributed mostly by the tourism 28%. 22% compared to Ali Kassel in 14, 14, 14%. So these are the projections of the total number of visitors to Bali, even increasing demand from the local tourists. And yeah, oversupply is up to 10 years ahead. This uh, estimated rooms requirement in Bali is 90,000 rooms. So it definitely is so, Back to the Jatiluwi as our focus areas for the Subak, for the potential of Subak community based tourism. So, Jatiluwi rice fields have been managed for century by traditional farmers' organizations. So, definitely from this massive uh, tourism, we show that social ecological system is not really. Uh, um, in harmony uh, interaction but, uh, compared to the what we have present in the local knowledge of Subak by using the rice terrace and also the other water temples. Seems like it's an ideal condition, but then when it comes to the real development of tourism, it's been created many talents. Yeah. So this is the rice field temple. Panorama. This is also part of the heritage site. Remember that we have water temple network, a traditional irrigation system that supports the uh, terrace field and are the areas of this uh, rice terrace in Jati Nui, in where the the local the tourists can well we need to create uh, more packaging for Subak community based tourism in order to reach if you want to promote more about Subak community based tourism. Currently, they are uh, cycling, selfing, what else? Uh, uh, well, enjoying the cafe, yeah, sightseeing, trekking, yeah. 
I will share the next uh, session for our session in checking in the next today. So, which uh, our next session? So, this is the current social ecological impact. Look at the water resource situation. This is the red one. Is the uh, area with excessive exploitation of the groundwater resource compared to the availability of the area. And this is the red color is in, in very worrying situation. And the salt water intrusion in the fresh water aquifer. In fact, when we conducted in one of the hotels in Kuta Beach, we are already experienced uh, salty water yeah, in our uh, bathrooms. Yeah? Okay. So, this is the challenges for tourism not only the water intrusion, the availability of the fresh water. Second one is about solid waste management itself. So, uh, the solid waste production is up to more than 2 million meters per year. And the most significant amount is the plastic waste product. Of course, that is uh, as a result of the tourism and lack of solid waste management. And still, no capacity for waste to energy conservation for Bali. And these are the two landfill sites. And uh, after that, so we have another environmental impact on the wastewater management. So we have centralized waste treatment in the interest area in the city where it's not really be connected to, to this uh, centralized wastewater treatment. So it needs to be improvement in the infrastructure of this wastewater management. And wastewater goes into the drainage. It is create the smell disgusting uh, to this uh, area surrounding, and the worst case is both the beach and the CCC water quality. So while at the same time the beach that will be the main one of the major attraction is uh, tourism in Bali. So if you can see this uh, in the Sewer Treatment Project, there's uh, the Kawasan Bali uh tourism area, and this is the community or residential area. And these are the uh, project of the Denpasar Severage Development Plan. But then the, it, there are also a small uh, section of the uh, mangrove forest here. And they also still have to preserve it as a holy area in this station. Okay? So uh, seems like the improvement of this massage service development project also need to be accelerated in order to improve the uh, quality of, of people. And these are the, the example of wastewater treatment at the side of resort. And after that, the beach erosion, the, the fourth uh, type of challenge for tourism in Bali in terms of the infrastructure and physical uh, effects. So destroy the beach due to the beach erosion, um, create less sand between the beach, and also this reduce the attraction for the tourists. And of course, there is an uh, effort to make a conservation valley beach project in 2001 and 2008. In these two, one, two, three, four major tourist attraction beach, they develop the sea walls, sand tourism beach, and you know the to keep remain. Of course, these are the capital, the attraction for the tourists coming to this uh, Bali. So these are the area or beach erosion, sea walls and sand erosion has been conducted. And the last is about the challenge of for body tourism is involved in terms of transportation facilities and traffic jams. Yeah. Even in the last uh, today and today we. Are have a very heavy event flood and then we face uh, some flat floods yeah, in certain area in Denpasar. So and also like the traffic jam and uh southern Bali has a major problem here. Yeah. Smaller group of tourists is more fast, so very the public transport. So this is piece of uh, um uh, problems related to transportation need to be addressed by the respective uh, government ministry as well as the private transport organization. 
So in conclusion, of course, at the first uh, slide, and it seems and the harmonization within social ecological function in terms of subak system and the inlet outlet and then the respect uh, the democratization of the water distribution among the pakasi among the subak but when it comes to uh, the challenge the demand for the current development increasing the masterism it becomes a uh, very challenging so uh challenge included the clean uh, the the difficulty in uh, to provide clean water supply, solid waste management, beach erosion, public transport, and wastewater treatment are among the challenges, the, the, the environmental impact on of this uh, development. So, um, uh, lack of coordination again, the, this has been highlighted. Coordination is also another um, um, a key work for. Uh, the co you know, for the governance of this uh, tourism industry between the public, private, and the local community. And there are several projects, but of course, uh, for this uh, session, uh, I hope uh, uh, already give the contra in the from the perspective of social political system how is from the harmonious uh, interaction of nature and environment and end up with uh, a very challenging um, tourism industry in setting the physical and infrastructure that might be not, um, developed or tailored for a huge amount of uh, tourism in Bali. So I think I end up uh, my presentation for this section. So I would like to uh, welcome for any questions. Thank you. Yes. Yes, sure. The question to can you uh uh like really to provide that or to me or we can uh chat together, yeah, Ryan, thank you. Yes. I I still couldn't get the the question from the floor. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, we can see you. Can you post your question, please? Thank you. Maybe any question from our colleagues in yeah. this room? Yeah. Any question from for comment and things like that? Please welcome account for a question from University of Diana. Yes. One guy. Okay. Please. Yeah, can you use the slide, the mic? Push. There is one question from Udayana.
Ini, ini, yeah. let's coba in For, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, can you hear me, uh, audience in Unmas? Hello? 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 Uh, there is one one question here. The the guy asking about uh, about the agriculture systems and what uh, irrigation systems uh, in regards to Subak in Bali. Is there any the same sort of irrigation system in Malaysia um, compared to the Subak in Indonesia? So first of all, I would like to address that uh, so uh, in Malaysia. Most of the agriculture focus in the north of north states of the Supernanjung Malaysia, and there are some of the paddy field in the hilly side of the Kinabalu um, Mount in the Sabah, Mount Kinabalu in Sabah. But in north uh, peninsula, in north part of peninsular Malaysia, which is uh, Kedah, state of Kedah, they have they only practicing the flat. Um, rice paddy fields. So they did not, um, what we call it, um, follow the contour of the of the of the land in this uh, uh, area in Keda. So what I know as well in Keda is most of the area is in the flat uh, area. So it's not like in Bali. Mm -hmm. Also, it's in the uh, hilly valley. So it's follow the contour of this uh, soil. So I think that is the most significant why we are still also practicing the uh, modern type of uh, agriculture or farming actually. So, and we don't have the uh, conventional traditional, what I've been experienced in uh, during my my uh, bachelor, I'm I'm planting the paddy in the in the in the what they call it in the small uh, plastic here yeah, for uh, tissue culture hybrid. So, but then in the when I go to the when I went to uh, Kedah, it's also a flat rice uh, right, and then they are working closely with the Institute of Paddy in the Philippines. Yeah, give me a second. So maybe Prof uh, Wayan will uh, add more on the yeah. Okay. Not yet. Okay, I will give my thank you, Doctor Irina. If you want to implement SBA system in the area, you must have the hilly topography first. Yes, a sloping topography and like in Bali and the source of water is the top of the topography, top of the land. From there water flow slowly uh, from the hill. In the in the in the certain level the water will use will to be used, yes, to irrigate the rice field in the same level and then after that water will flow to the other river and then to be used also in the middle area and then until the beach. So maybe very difficult to implement a suba system in the other island because the suba system not just to managing, to organize the farmer in order to distribute the water irrigation, but also the 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 happy task is to over overing to implement overing that is very difficult activities in the other countries especially with uh, no Hindu member in Bali with uh, mostly the member is Hindu 
and they implement the ceremony in the temple. If any, in some Shiva, if any, uh, some Muslim or Christian has made a Shiva, and then yeah. and in that case, if the Hindu member uh, offer offering in the temple, and the Muslim will go to the mosque, something like that, also uh, ask the God in order the all activities of Shiva in uh, in the in the field, learning well, in the harvest is also well, something like that. So, if we want to implement Shiva, we need like that uh, hilly topography, and then the water in the farmer river distribute with one inlet and one outlet system. That is the criteria we'll implement if we want to make Shiba in the other countries. Okay. Thank you. That's why very difficult implemented in Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one package. It's not only about the hilly topography, yeah. but yeah. as yeah. well very as specific. the Fantastic. That's why UNESCO rec uh, recognized yeah. Suba as a special case as a world cultural heritage because the Suba also implement the ceremony, offer offering, so many, 15 in the Okay. Thank you, Prof. Mayan. Thank you. Any question from the floor or audience? Yeah, please. Doctor Solana, please. Okay. We got more response from Udayana. Thank you. He is from Suba Research Center. Oh, good. But so as a dean of faculty of agriculture in the state of New Jersey. Ah. Right. We have the boost changes uh, in Bali because of the modernization, because of the modernization. Uh, but culture of Spot is still there. The Spot is still there. The UNESCO recognized the Bali as the Spot is the character. And then when we see in the Cuba system, in the uh, no technology of the agricultural system, like the IP. But in Shiba system, still plant the rice with the local parish. And now, that is it. And then now, most of the farmers also, in, especially in the area, still plant the local parish. Because the local parish still has the good seeds. And then the good quality and it has the higher price. It has the identity of the Shiba still there. Um, when the Shiba also know about the factor, because of mostly the factor is that um uh, all of us thankfully who the person who was in the structure but the ritual activity in the Cuba system is still there also. From the getting of water and then before plowing the plant, before a seedling fresh plastic is still there. Even though the young Machines of the agriculture uh, do use by the government. After harvesting, now we know well about the um, rice milling units and then the children uh, directly go to the rice mill and extract down the rice, but the ritual activity 
how to make the strategic policy in Bali to sustain, to maintain the SUPA uh, in Bali because SUPA is very important to maintain, to, uh, you know, to sustain, also to protect our culture in Bali. Thank you very much for your comment. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next question from uh, from the floor from University Udayana as well. And for more uh, YouTuber and audience on site, you can also uh, uh, write your question on the live chat. Thank you. It's welcome. Uh, oh wait, excuse me. Yeah, question from Yes, just moment please. Okay, there is one to the University of Mahatma Swati. Okay, I will ask you to Please continue. Okay. Uh, talking about the challenges for the system, especially for the decision pollution and irrigation. Now I'd like to give a uh, super irrigation case in my village in Bahana. There is a different condition of super irrigation system between the past region and uh, now. In the past, uh, the water source of SUPA is only used for SUPA irrigation. But now, the water source is not only used for SUPA irrigation, but also it is used for settlement water needs. Uh, my question is what is your opinion about this case and is this condition can be served of the sustainability of SUPA irrigation? Thank you. Yes, yes, you are right. Yes, the work not, not just for agriculture activities, but also for drinking water, for electricity, uh, for tourism, also something like that. And that is our 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 struggling now uh, to ask the government, you know, the the priority of the uh, must be for the irrigation first because from long long time the water is to be used by the agricultural activities and that is the weakness also of the farmer no strong organization to protect themselves from the outside intervention you should use uh, especially from the government. That is our problem now. We want we all together who concern with this system push the government in order to make the priority of the water to the agriculture activity in order to in our suba in Bali sustain. I think we have been asked uh, Pak Gubernur also in Bali and for several uh, Bupati and the Regency in Bali, but very difficult, very difficult to ask them in order to make priority of order to the agriculture activities because no power from Suba to push the, the uh, the tourism activities, tourism sector, very strong to influence the government in order the all of the water for their activities. I think that is our concern now: how to protect, but how to push the government in order the water is. 
to be really nice to the to the to the farmer. I think that is our opinion. I want we make together statement to the government to help our our farm in Bali, you know, to maintain our culture also. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Prof. Lyon. Uh, I might be if uh, an opponent as an outsider. I'm a Balinese, but I'm trying to look at from the sustainability uh, perspective that in order to, for the Tupac uh, traditional water irrigation, the governance, the capacity, the uh, system uh, to sustain current challenging uh, demand from the tourism industry, housing, settlement, and etc. I think Subak needs to be made an adjustment. Not really transformed because there is a value in the Subak itself that needs to be uh, adopted in this context. So I think that is the, 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 it's the time for also maybe a series of discussion has been conducted. I'm not sure. But I know that various organizations, international organizations also has been involved in this uh, drafting and proposing uh, SUBAC as an uh, excellence of uh, dynamic interaction and social ecological system. But then again, sexualization is very important. If we uh, refer to the curve or to, to transform sustainable, to be a sustainable society, uh, SUBAC needs to be uh, adjust, needs to be transformed as well. But of the local knowledge itself, there is, uh, of course, it has been given for many years. So, the uh, and consensus among the various uh, actors in this. So, yeah, thank you very much. I think we have another question from the floor. The University of Diana, please. Talk. Oh, please from Diana. Yeah. Uh, number one, a question for why the culture and education of the start of the bar? Why? Yes. And number two, what is the concept for the bar to become the one uh, of the education? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, uh, I in my slide that it will have to be the inherited side, special policy of sending university values, and through series of evaluation assessment, and the committee of people who come here together with the Ministry of Education and Cultural Heritage at the national level, province, and also the PACASI as well. They are uh, um, not really and then look at the situation and also uh, engage the community to be part of this uh, proposal for the World Heritage Site. So the place the digital philosophy has been manifest in various uh, ways. It's not only the Subak traditional education system, but also the temple network, the series of cultural, spirituals, uh, uh, values, and also ceremonial. So that would be why uh, other provinces become World Heritage Sites because you have excellent uh, example on how appreciation of this uh, man and environment, man and uh, people, man and man, and man and the God. And this three, three interaction, the three Hitakarana, that will be and already manifest in many years. So that will be uh, those attention and attract. Like said, yeah, I think that is the most recent that I can uh, share with you. Thank you very much. Maybe Professor can share more. The the topic of UNESCO recognition to Suba is natural landscape of Bali Prince. Suba as manifestation of three uh, karana philosophy. It means that UNESCO recognized that the landscape of Bali Island is constructed by activities where Suba is based on the Triji Chakrana philosophy. So the landscape in Bali is 
maintain maintain by sebab based on prinsip kerana filosofi total it is that it is the failure you call failure failure yes the, the failure of the the balinese people failure of suba as three heat of country is directly implemented not in the sky many people said they they, they have philosophy but in the sky but Bali, the three heat of country directly implemented in the by suba system that's why it's got recognized suba as one cultural heritage thank you from youtuber uh, I'm sorry that maybe that is uh, okay it's all right Any more questions from Unmas of University of Technology of Malaysia? Okay. 
Okay, uh, the question is, uh, I'll try to repeat again to share with other audience. Uh, how, uh, how is the bug can be an inspiration of uh, sustainable bleeding and why? Right? So, right, thank you for the question. So, as, uh, maybe I would like to connect and refer back to the uh, uh, so we as a uh, kind of way of life of the Balinese people. So, actually, the uh, the translation of this uh, philosophy has been embedded in various uh, way of life, culture, activities, and, and other uh, form of uh, in practice of traditional uh, water irrigation system. But then, of course, the sustainable living is uh, beyond than that, of course. But we would like to know more about how it housing situation around the settlement in the villages, the water situation in that area that is be closely related with the income generated, knowing that that is how a farmer can fulfill their benefit, and especially the improvement and then uh, the income of the farmer is very uh, important and very crucial to be upgraded and that is maybe related with the previous question. How to back can be uh, relevant in this current context of tourism development? Casting is no more it's not only focused on the water distribution, water distribution and so the uh, seedlings distribution maybe and fertilizer. But they have also other goals and functions, for example our um, uh, setting session in the master class four, we, we are actually uh, working closely with the Pekati or some Pekati is also uh, sharing with us. They are already have another uh, goals. It's not only as Pekati, but as well as the service guide. But so that will be another income for them. So that is there is a transition from the Pakasi whole city also. In order to back also can be inspired of the sustainable living. So I think the three itself is be innovatively and creatively uh, translated in this current sustainable living context. Yeah. And why? The, I think the, the philosophy itself is already excellent and manifest in this station in various things. But then, uh, again, effort to be consistent in order to uh, relate with this uh, current context of as tourism. Of course, we know the community cultural based tourism is one of the solution that we offer by this industry to pitch or to to integrate between the the old style of uh, subak uh, system and the demand on the tourism industry and as well as the rice set itself no more as a as a agriculture farming only but at the same time it becomes major attraction as well so maybe it can be uh, redeveloped you know to cater the uh, community-based tourism based on Supa. to be another uh, solution for firing the sustainability of the Suba. And I'm sure Prof. Wayan will have more explanations. This from Wayan. Yes. In Bali, generally, the, we have to discuss that the whole of uh, sector industry very respect with uh, the super activities that directly implemented the philosophy. Uh, Suba still maintain the rice terrace, not destroy the hill, uh, work together, and also respect uh, with the God with several uh, ritual activities. That's why uh, Suba activities is all, always in spite uh, the all activities 
in Bali. And now, uh, that, is, that is good, that is enough to uh, how to keep Suba through show cultural activities, but that is not enough. Now, we, we want the government will add the Suba activities on economical activities with a cooperative, our cooperative, as Dr. Irina said, with the uh, agro tourism activities, and also for the, the 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 industry, small industry. For example, how to make the a tea uh, from the rice, something like that. We want the government uh, to uh, assist, support. support in economical activities in order to sustain the Suba activities and Balinese activities still uh, in order still keep and maintain uh, culture. The Balinese living, the economic activity in Bali is always must based on the culture. Without, without culture, maybe no economic activities in Bali uh, also, tourism activities in Bali also. So that's why in Bali we need the Suba still existing to inspire the all activities, all sectors in Bali in order as a best practice that Suba with farmers, uh, you know. Poor, very poor people it still maintain the culture in Bali. Waiter culture with the farmer, with the suba, maybe the, the culture in Bali will be disappeared. Will if the culture in Bali disappear, this is very dangerous for economic activities in Bali. That is why we are interested how to sustain, to maintain, to help Suba and Parma because the role of Suba is very important to maintain culture, economic, and also socio uh, 